Well, hello and welcome to all of our Gold Learning Delegates. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC here at Gold Learning. Well, today, here we are. We're going to be talking about our Tongue Tie Symposium 2019. Can you believe that? And yes, we've got some wow moments happening this year with our symposium because it is running over two days, which is brand new. So lots of options there. And of course, this brings us to many speakers. That's right, there's gonna be 10 hours of education, which means you're gonna have incredible lineup of speakers as well. One of those uh, speakers, of course, as you can, if you're looking at your screen right now, you can see that Brandy Benson is gonna be with us. Uh, she's going to be presenting on the second day of the symposium symposium as well. There's lots of options as well, just so you know, all around this symposium. So you can join us for one day, two day, uh, some deals going on there as well. And of course, you can find it all at goldlearning.com. You can just click on to that web web page you can also of course find us on we'll be on facebook and instagram you know how to reach us right folks um so you'll find us online and we're looking forward to seeing you on the day well welcome to you brandy great to have you here and participating as a presenter um at our gold learning symposium series welcome thank you i'm excited that's right. And as we were mentioning just offline, so Brandy, you've participated before um, here at Gold as a delegate, right? So you've been on the other side of things before. I have. The past two years, um, two to three years, I believe, I've um, participated as a delegate. Um, I am a chiropractor, but I work really closely with our um, local IBCLCs. Oh, wonderful. That's awesome. That's great to hear. Well, I know, and this is the, the other side of things. I know and in our conversations, I've mentioned to you, too, just really excited to have you here as a chiropractor and learning more about what you do in your specific pack practice. I know it's different for, for everyone, but it's it's going to be great to sort of uh, learn from you and find out what your experiences have been and look at some of the, the evidence as well. Um, and of course, you know, your, uh, your uh, bio, I should say, which is on our website. So everyone, you can go and learn more about Brandy on our website as well, just about her background and, and what she's done previous to coming to join us here at Gold. But uh, I did look at a couple of things on there and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about those in a minute. But I'd love it. Just why don't you introduce yourself formally to our audience? Let them know. OK, let, tell them your name, where you're located um, in the world, because, you know, we've got audience coming to us from around the world, Brandy. So why don't you just introduce and, and let, let us know a little bit about yourself and your life. Awesome. Um, I am Brandy Benson. I am a chiropractor in Kansas City, which is in the middle of the United States. Um, mm -hmm. Been here all of my life. Mm -hmm. um, haven't ventured too far from my hometown. Uh, but I work in a chiropractic office that mainly works with women and children. Mm -hmm. And I specifically only work with kids. Um, right. And I love it, love it, love it. Oh, that's wonderful. So what is it that drew you into chiropractic care in the first place? Did you have a journey before you got here? Or was this always a desire for you to become a chiropractor? It wasn't. I was always wanting to be a doctor of some sort, and mm -hmm. my family, um, my dad and my mom were in the emergency medicine world right. as paramedics and EMTs, so that's mm -hmm. kind of where I was leaning. But right. as I was working as an EMT through my undergraduate degree, um, I just noticed how, I mean, you know, the, how sick the world is, and I wanted to do something a little bit more holistic and kind of outside the, the, the norms of just giving you know patients medications for their symptoms I wanted to try to get to the root causes and uh, through my research um, and just visiting all types of different doctors chiropractic really resonated with me mm -hmm. um, and gave me the opportunity to really look at the whole body and mm -hmm. um, support my patients in a holistic way as they're working with their medical doctors or their acupuncturists or naturopaths. So um, I'm really big on, you know, the whole, the body as a whole and, right. you know, co-management with all sorts of different providers is really important to me. Uh, well, of course, this that's the, the theme that we're seeing a lot right now is this collaborative type of care, particularly in this area of tongue tie and, 
and how can we all work together? Who can we lean into? Uh, which providers are knowledgeable, right? Because this is a lot of what we're seeing. So this is really great for you to be able to, you know, showcase your work and, you know, show us what you're, you've been able to learn and do as a practitioner in the field and how that complements perhaps the IBCLC or any of the other, you know, didactics that are out there that are working with families who have uh, some issues with tongue tie. And of course, um, you know, you talk about it going beyond the mouth, which is really exciting too as well. And I, I wouldn't be amiss without um, also mentioning, uh, do you work on your own family? Because I, I, you have a little bit of a unique family, I have to say, right? <laughs> Why don't you introduce your family? Because this is really interesting. What's going on? Um, well, I uh, live, of course, with my husband, Mark, uh, mm -hmm. and he works in healthcare IT. And then we have um, two sets of fraternal twins that are two years apart. Oh, and they were all surprises to us and you'll get to know them a little bit more through my presentation because they are very important to my journey through right. the tongue tie world um they right. uh when i when one of my first patients came in with tongue ties i was pregnant with my twins and just really got thrown into this world and mm -hmm. you know just kind of immersed myself in learning as much as i could and so um yes i've been through this journey with my own kids and um i'm happy to say that my older set of twins just started kindergarten their first Aww. year of school and Lovely. my little ones are um playing with granny and papa right now <laughs> and having a good time downstairs so oh, uh, but it's it's yeah. awesome it's a really fun fun family so and busy oh, a busy family yeah um yeah and i i couldn't i couldn't let that slip by because i that is <laughs> not only is it busy but unusual right so um and it seems like this has been a bit of the the driving factor for your journey as well which is really very cool of course yeah and you know once you know being in that world myself it just the the people just kept coming and mm -hmm. um so it's definitely a big part of my practice and mm -hmm. um and i really i really do love it so that's awesome. That's great. So I, w I was, again, I was reading up on some of the things that you do, and I know you created a program um, as part of your practice that includes, uh, you talked about the whole body, optimal health, chiropractic, but also myofacial, cranial, sacral techniques and neurofunctional exercises as well, all in a program. Now, this is very interesting because this this is language that is getting thrown out. Um, you know, not I'm not a chiropractor, so, you know, I'm not, you know, I practice any of these things. But of course, being an IBCLC, familiar with a lot of those things as well. So tell me a little bit about how and why you wanted to start to incorporate those things in your practice. And are you seeing, are, one of the things that I always get asked, what, what is the evidence that this is actually supportive? So t tell me about those two things, Brandy. Yeah, so we, you know, we know about how um, the brain controls our whole body. Mm -hmm. And if, if that brain isn't getting the right motor or sensory input um, from outside the world or inside the world, the brain doesn't know how to respond that motor output properly. Mm -hmm. And that's really the, you know, meat and potatoes of how our body works. And mm -hmm. it, pertaining to tongue ties, especially if that tongue isn't moving how it's supposed to and mm -hmm. stimulating the nerves like the vagus nerve properly, you're going to have some imbalance between the you know sympathetic and parasympathetic part of your nervous system and that right. can cause a lot of stress or inability to adapt to change and mm -hmm. and learn and grow um, and so with the program you know it I see a lot of older children school-aged children right. on that program because they they struggled through those really formative, you know, first year of life, toddlerhood, where they're supposed to be integrating these primitive reflexes, and they have it. And so we kind of go, we take them back and help them integrate these things while supporting the immune system, the nervous system with chiropractic adjustments, um, the gut health, of course, and kind of, you know, reset all those primitive reflexes and get everything lined up so the, the brain can really process all that sensory information 
and have the right output to, to live a good life. Um, and what's cool is working with you know infants with tongue ties is being able to address those things that could potentially be problems in the first year of life instead of waiting until they get older and having a lot more um, difficulties later on. Mm. So this, I mean, these types of things, it's great if you can follow up sooner. Um, but like you said, you still, you know, it's sort of right now, it's not as much proactive as a reactive field. Is that kind of what you're seeing still when people come right. into? Yeah. 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 And, and once, you know, I see a lot of older kids and then as they're, you know, their parents are expecting a, a second child, they, they understand how important right. it is to really, those mo motor milestones like rolling over and crawling and even just lifting their head up in tummy time, those are so important to brain development. Mm -hmm. um, and so they can, we can watch those things and intervene if necessary a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. And um, that way we don't have so many compensations Right. Um, to kind of, you know, swim through. Yeah. Well, you're, you're describing, you know, the clients that I've seen in the past and, and I've heard this from other practitioners too, that, um, once a person is sort of exposed to this type of care and management, um, mm -hmm. they really are turned on to it. So, you know, cause I think there's still a, there's still an element of mystery behind it, you know, as we're starting to hear more about, I mean, chiropractic care, of course, has been around forever, but you know, some people still have some hesitation, but they're really seeing the benefits of it. Often, you know, you will see people come in when they're pregnant to get some adjustments and those types of things, very positive experience for most people. And then as they bring their children in, but once they have one child in, I find that they are very proactive. They're seeing the benefits They're, you know, um, understanding and, and becoming more knowledgeable. So it's a real teachable moment, I imagine, that when you have clients in the office, um, you know, that there's a continuum for the whole family here, because you're you're really, that's, although I know most of your work is working with children, but really you're teaching the whole family about what's happening, correct? Oh, for sure. And the other doctors in our office, um, they're the ones that see the moms and the dads that come right. in. And so when they're coming in for their, um, you know, prenatal adjustments and or preconception nutritional counseling, um, I have the opportunity to come in and say, hey, when your baby is born, you know, these are some of the things that we can we can help out with if you're having any mm. challenges. And so they already know kind of what to look for um, right. and a place where they can come for resources, um, like getting them connected to an IBCLC or a provider that does the release or, you know, you know, breast milk donation if they need that. Like we're, we're yeah. a really good resource for them and for that support if they do run into any trouble. So they already have, I think it's comforting that they have that, um, space in our office. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a safe place to come and and um, seek that help and advice. Um, yeah, absolutely. So tell me, is uh, we've been talking sort of around um, you know this subject matter, but is this what we're gonna? Is this what we should expect as a delegate coming into the tongue tie symposium? Is this what you're going to be touching on as well during your presentation? Yeah, we're going to talk a, a lot about just kind of we're going to review a lot of what people probably already know the base of tongue ties, lip ties about breastfeeding and, and swallowing difficulties and the fussies and all that fun stuff, but also what um, if that motor pattern, those typical motor patterns aren't established and we have mm -hmm. compensations, what kinds of things we might see with um, bigger motor milestone development or um, imbalances within like the autonomic nervous system. Um, and uh, what other things we might see in in babies as they grow to toddlers, to school age kids, or even as adults as well, and they didn't get these um, things corrected um, right. or addressed at a younger age. Fantastic, that's wonderful. Okay, so last question for you. I know that this is becoming a very popular area of work for professionals to move into, or maybe even you know, uh, you know, we've got students listening in. What advice would you give to them as sort of a takeaway to get into this field or to look at to see if it's a really good fit for them? Where would they go to learn more about the actual, um, you know, perhaps becoming a chiropractic provider or even if they were looking at craniosacral, you know, where would you go to learn more about this, Brandy? 
Yeah, I, well, my own journey was, I, you know, went around my area and just shadowed as many different people as I could, um, mm. which is really great. I and like yeah, and I just, you know, you call up different offices and say, hey, I'm kind of interested in what you're doing. And, and we, we have that at our office a lot, too. We have a lot of students that come through, and high school students even, like, what's, what's this chiropractic thing all about? And um, so really kind of getting in and, and talking to professionals around the area, mm -hmm. um, you, you really get that firsthand and not just, like, searching through it on the internet, you really get a feel for what they're doing when you're, mm -hmm. when you're there. So, yeah. um, I like that aspect of just being, you know, it, it's a little bit more of a personal touch and you, you Boy. really get the feel for it for sure. Boy, that, that mentoring component really is a ribbon that threads us all together, isn't it? Because even oh, as, sure. IB, as IBCLCs and, you know, um, this is something that's really emphasized a lot. So I, I can see like the practical side of it is so important that, um, you know, having people come in so they can understand what's happening in the process. And even if they weren't perhaps going into the field, but just getting a real feel of what's happening. I know for myself, when we refer people, uh, we end up, uh, you know, wanting to, you know, showcase, you know, what is actually happening. And I'm, if I'm not in that field, of course, I can't really tell them for sure. So it's great when I've got uh, persons like you in my life that I can say, hey, yeah, check it out. Brandy's going to talk you all the way through it. So that's wonderful. Yeah. And, and building those relationships is so great on a professional level. Um, and um, patients and clients really love it when you have kind of that personal connection with someone be like, yeah, I, met, I had, you know, yeah. coffee with this guy and yeah. he's, he, he knows what's up and knows what's going on. <laughs> so, um, and yeah. I think our, they, they really appreciate that as, as patients yeah. too. Totally. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. I'm just smiling from ear to ear. I want to come to your practice now and just hang out, right? It's, it's a, we, have a, we have a good time there. It's fun. I'm like, when am I going to be in Kansas next, right? <laughs> right. All right. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today, Brandy. It's just been awesome having you and chatting with you. Looking forward to being live with you on the 17th, right? Yes. Thank you so much, Fiona, for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. Well, that's it, folks, for now. Um, just again, quick reminder, of course, uh, two-day Tongue Tai Symposium 2019. It is going to run over September 16th and 17th. But again, want to give you a quick reminder that, of course, they will be recorded as well. So if you can't come for the two full days or um, you can't come at all, uh, they will be recorded for your convenience. Now, I will say that the live days are super fun um, it, just from the aspect that you'll have a real feel, you'll be able to engage with Brandy and all of the other speakers that are going to be there. Um, and we do the live Q and A's as well, which is really great. So you can really dive in deeper and get your questions answered right away. If you're not going to be part of the live sessions, uh, we do have the forums as well. So always there's an ongoing conversation here at Gold Learning. We want to be sure that everybody has an opportunity to ask their questions. And, and that's why we engage with the speakers that we do because they're just so generous about their time. And and wanting just to share what they're doing in their communities as well as practitioners. So just a, you know, a reminder about that. You can go to goldlearning.com, easy to find online. And of course, you'll find us on our social media sites, including Facebook, uh, Twitter. Um, I'm loving Instagram and, of course, YouTube, where you'll find a lot of these interviews as well. Well, thank you again to Brandy Benson for sitting down with me here today. And, of course, to all of you listening in, great to have you back again. And we look forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye for now, everyone.